You just have to enjoy days like today. Listen, the one thing I always say about injury time winners is that they're like Christmas. On average, I think with Arsenal, if you look at how many injury time winners we've had in Premier League history, it's around one or season. It's, it's, it's not much more than that. So you absolutely have to enjoy these days when they come about. There's nothing, nothing like a last-minute winner in football. You can score two goals in the first five minutes and win 2-1. It does not feel the same. This is what football's all about. It's about these moments. It's about getting chucked around. Come on, boys! <laughs> it's about all of this. This is what I'm talking about. This is how it feels today. Stadium was buzzing. Absolutely buzzing when that went in. Listen, when you score that injury time winner, you get chucked around, you're celebrating, you're jumping around, you're miles away from your seat by the end of your celebration. That is what you come here for. That is what you pay your money for. That's why you take the time out of your life to get to this ground. It's for that. So I'm enjoying it today. Ruben Neves, I hope you are watching. I really hope you're watching. I hope you enjoy these celebrations and I hope they're over the top because you know what? Our celebrations show just how much we want it. And I felt that in the stadium today. I felt that from the players. I felt that from the fans. We wanted it today. We want that Champions League spot. That's why we celebrate the way we do because we want it badly. Any single match day where we're being criticised for our celebrations, I'm happy because it means we've got the three points. We're not going to be celebrating if we're not winning the games. So please, please continue to criticise our celebration. Long may we celebrate. Long may it continue. This was massive. This result after going 1-0 down was massive. Let me tell you something. It's been about 45 Premier League games where, lead, where Wolves have taken the lead and haven't lost. The last time that happened was in 2018. That is what Arsenal have done today. Something that Wolves haven't experienced for ages. Three or four years. And not only that, this is against the Wolves team, who, if I'm not wrong, only Man City have conceded less goals. Jose Sarr, one of the best goalkeepers. Hit, hit, really, this, this game was about the two best goalkeepers in the league this season. Jose Sarr and Aaron Ramsdale. Ramsdale came out on top. Do you know what? The thing is, that last-minute winner, I think that wasn't even Lacazette's goal. I think that's going to go down as a known goal for Jose Sarr. But listen, man, honestly, this is a massive, massive result for Arsenal's hope of top four. Massive. At one nil down with 20 minutes to go, I did not think this was going to happen. Obviously, you hope. And I was still thinking, listen, we can get a draw out of this, hopefully a win. But for us to actually make that happen, for us to turn that round and win that game is huge. Not just in terms of the three points, but also the confidence, the belief that it will give these players. Do you know what? I hope results like this and the manner in which we got the result, I want these players to start to feel like this is the destiny of their season. They have to feel like this is what they're destined for, to go and get that fourth spot. They won't say it publicly. And we even heard Ed earlier on the season not giving any targets. But internally, of course, this has got to be the target. Realistically, of course, they're talking about this inside the club. I hope that they start to truly, truly believe that they can do it. And listen, it's such an important win as well because we're not that far away from Wolves in the table. If we had lost against Wolves today, yes, we have a game in hand, but they would have gone above us in the league. Massive. That we're, This is what I was talking about in the week when I was doing a podcast in the Arsenal Lounge. I was saying that we need to put daylight between us and these teams. We need to say to them, no, it's not going to be a battle. It's not going to be a case of, oh, we're all going for top four. We're the bigger team. We want it more. And we have to open up that gap. In about the space of two weeks, we've done that to Wolves. We've said to you, away from home, at our place, at home, we're taking the points off you. Two six-pointers, we've won, we've won them both. And there we have it now. We've got daylight and a game in hand against Wolves. Tottenham yesterday losing against Burnley. It's almost like, you know, what's the point of enjoying that if you don't then go and convert your games in hand and the games that you play into three points? And we've done it. That's what matters. 
That's the team that we need to be when we just say, listen, we're going to be ruthless. When these points come up for us to take, we're taking them. We've done it today. And let's talk about some of the individuals. Today was about some players that have just not had a good season that, you know, fans are kind of getting tired. Not, I wouldn't say the fans are getting tired of, but the fans are starting to lose belief in. Eddie and Ketia came on, made the difference. Brilliant assist. Nico Pepe, brilliant goal and had a massive part to play in the winner. Lacazette as well. Brilliant play in the build-up to the winner. Yeah, I, I don't think his shot was even going in. I need to see more replays. But I think Jose Sarr actually scored the own goal there. But even then, and Ketia, Pepe, Laka, I'm so, so happy for all three of you. Because it hasn't been your seasons. But when it comes to the end of the year, this game will be massive. This game will be absolutely huge. And you three today, you won us the points. You did what you needed to do. You played your part. And I'll tell you one other thing as well. Martin Erdegaard, honestly. Look, one thing I'll say about him, yeah. He, he's not the sort of player, like we saw Smith Rowe against Brentford, pick the ball up, do it himself. Erdegaard doesn't often do that. It's very, very rare that he does that. But what he does do is play. He's so important. He's so, so instrumental in everything that we do, in all of our attacks. For the first goal, his ball over the top that Nketiah chased onto, brilliant way to pass, brilliant vision. He won't get the assist for that. No one will even talk about it. But that, that, was the, that was the pass that made that attack into a really threatening attack, a really promising attack. Then, in, 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 in the, in the build-up for the winner as well, he's there linking up the passes. He's obviously such an important player for us. And it's, it's times like this where we actually need to give him some credit and make sure that his contribution doesn't go unnoticed. Because, yes, yeah, statistically, he might not get the goals and the assists. And I want that from him. I want more from him in terms of the final third and being ruthless. But today, he was brilliant. He was so instrumental. Really, really instrumental. And let's give Arteta some credit as well. Because, look, going 1-0 down, and not only going 1-0 down as well, but also the substitutes that he put on, he, in the end, he got it right. He got it right. He wasn't helped by the fact that Emil Smith-Rowe was ill and had to miss, uh, miss the game because we were all talking about before the game who, who kind of gets dropped. And even though it made the decision easy for him, it would have been such an obvious, easy substitution to make if Smith-Rowe was available on the bench. And he didn't have that card to play. So he had to think outside the box. And thankfully, he got it right. Massive, massive result for Arsenal. And listen, I'm saying it right now. We are the favourites for top four. Embrace that. It's not about the pressure. Forget about that. Let's be honest with ourselves. We are the favourites for top four. The players need to accept that. They need to run with that pressure. Let's go and get top four. This will be massive, absolutely massive, in terms of Arsenal moving on to the next level. I can't wait to see the rest of this season out with that sort of performance, that belief, the wind in our sails. Come on, Arsenal.